Remember when going to the pub meant coming home with your clothes and hair stinking of smoke? Yuck. On Flashback this week, how smoking has been shown the door in South Australia. Smoking or non-smoking? Uh, non-smoking, thank you. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. It seems like a foreign concept now, but it used to be common to smoke in the sky or even riding a red hen. But it was a little bit like a swimming pool and someone peeing down one end, it sort of just flows across. If you're a bit nervous about flying and like to light up on an aircraft, think again. Planes were one of the first places where smoking was banned. And the smoker's view on a smoking ban? No way. <laughs> Yeah, it was quite a different world. You, know, you could smoke anywhere, you could advertise tobacco. Dr Clinton Senko is at the forefront of SA's fight against tobacco use at drug and alcohol services. It was a big part of life and to try and sort of shift that was a huge effort. Things really took off in the 90s when workplaces started banning cigarettes as the dangers of passive smoking became known. Passive smoking will be to the 90s what asbestos litigation was in the past decades. But when a smoking ban was proposed for Adelaide cabs in 1993... Why should we give up smoking because a few people say, well, well, well... You shouldn't smoke, it's bad for you. A year later... Selling cigarettes to anyone under 18 will be illegal. We regard smoking as a serious disease which requires legislative action. Now that I'm gone, I tell you, don't smoke. From Yul Brynner to that sponge, the ads came thick and fast. Cancer-producing tar. It's enough to make you sick. Very sick. And they were probably the ones that really drove the quitting to the, you know, the quit line calls and so forth. So we knew that they were really working well. Clinton says the biggest challenge was smoking bans in hospitality venues. It started with restaurants. The majority of Adelaide restaurateurs say smoking and dining go hand in hand. Smoking's part of the whole Rundle Street culture as it is. It's a cigarette, a chat, a coffee. It's part of an ethos. It was harder than you think to introduce smoke-free dining. Packets changed. On the front, a graphic picture, and on the back, a detailed and alarming account of exactly how smoking kills. SA was the first state to ban smoking with young kids in the car. $75 on-the-spot fines will apply, but if you choose to fight it in court, you face a maximum $200 fine. And it's more than a decade now since cigarettes have been on display. We're trying to do everything we can to take the, the glamour, take the attraction out of smoking. Bus shelters, tram stops and children's playgrounds. These are the new no-go zones for SA smokers. The smoking rate in SA is down to about 10%. The challenge now to deter vaping. You know, will we be confronted with the same sort of reflection looking back on, on vaping and its impact on our health? Smoking or non-smoking? Smoking, please. Have a nice trip. Always cracks me up.